this this is just priceless grown men are acting like little five and eight year olds on Xbox Live which is the it's it's just fucking hilarious <laughs> Just if you wanna if you wanna see the whole thing, just go and, and go and look at it yourself. The chairman of Priorities USA guy Cecil, like guy, you know, I'm a lawyer. Um, I went to University of Florida Law School, a place you're familiar with. I'm, I'm just curious, I'm looking through the notes that I, I've gathered from the president's public statements and the notes that you're running on that ad, and I've got to tell you, um, I, 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 there's not a legal case here. I, I don't even know what they're complaining about. You use the president's own word. What's their legal argument? Well, they have no real argument. I mean, I think the reason why the president wants the ad off the air is because it does something that he is not familiar with. It, it, it tells the truth. And, you know, we, we waited weeks to engage in this conversation because, like, every single... Oh, your, your ad tells the truth, huh? <laughs> You're acting like a five- or eight-year-old that... On Xbox Live or any any gaming platform, doesn't doesn't matter. Just I do a lot of Xbox Live, so that's the one I'm using. You're acting exactly like that. You're you're doing this whole trolling situation. You're just being a little bitch, a little fucking social justice faggot. <laughs> just seriously. It's fucking hilarious. It really is. Because the entire American way of life has been corrupt since its inception. And you're just now starting to get it. It's it's nearly 300 years late to get the point that your way of life is corrupt. And back in the 90s, I don't remember exactly what year in the 90s, mid to late 90s, best estimate I can give, someone came onto a Good Morning America, I think that was the show, and they actually said, America is a toxic society, its culture is toxic. That's just a, a synonym for saying Americans' way of life is corrupt. And if you want further proof, uh, mathematics, uh, advanced mathematics, all if null. Basically, that's... Um, a small version of infinity. I'll get into the truth that infinity is not infinity later, but it's a mathematic th theorem or equation that states quite simply in layman's terms, in the simplest terminology possible, that uh, everything that is small is just a small version of something that is large. Um, clear evident examples of this in nature planets rotating around a, a central star is much like uh, electrons rotating around the nucleus of an atom it, it's a a large version of something small but it's scale that's what's going on here with <laughs> this Trump campaign. It, if you want to see the actual campaign, just go go to that 
MSNBC YouTube channel and, and watch that video. Here, I'll show you again. Trump campaign threatens legal action of coronavirus ad. Morning Joe, MSNBC. If you want to see exactly what's going on and how it's tying in to what I'm saying, that they're all acting like children, like spoiled brats, trolling each other, And how it all ties into all of Null. Uh, the core example for all of Null in this context is quite simply that uh, I'm comparing their actions to the actions of children in an enclosed digital environment. where a bunch of people are crammed into a space together and then uh, psychology kicks in and they start acting very aggressively because they're underdeveloped or not developed at all psychologically, emotionally, mentally and yeah, I, even though it seems synonymous psychological and mental are somewhat different What they're doing there is just childish antics. <laughs> the, some this guy made a, a video ad making fun of Trump, basically, and someone. Uh, on Trump's side is or Trump himself is threatening to sue him because he made a video making fun of him <laughs> it's fucking hilarious yeah it, it'd be this it'd be the same situation Out of uh, out of the context of the coronavirus, it's the exact same situation that uh, the Wall Street Journal put PewDiePie through with the first adpocalypse. That on YouTube's economy and ecology and social infrastructure is an olive knoll of this particular situation that's going on right now that I'm talking about. The only difference is the date and time stamped on it and the subtext. Back then with feuds it was uh, the social justice faggotry and uh, the want to control YouTube. Now it's um, it's still the social justice faggotry and these delicate little snowflake idealisms and political correctness and the um, the different subtext is the situation is uh, the coronavirus situation <laughs> but no matter how you chalk up the differences the similarities are there and they're glaring and they're undeniable it's the exact same bullshit same song and dance history repeats itself or sounds very similar a lot because no one fucking listens no one learns And it seems confusing as all hell to the uninitiated, for those who don't understand the terminology that's that's going on here, the psychology of the situation, the semantics, which is um, semantics is just like saying they're using their personal idiosyncrasies to say there's a difference when there really isn't a difference. It's a bunch of um, 
political bullshit. Hey, that sums it up quite aptly. This whole uh, Trump campaign threatens legal action of coronavirus ad is just a bunch of political bullshit. So this this dude's uh, taking advantage of the situation and trolling Trump, just like I'm taking advantage of the situation, and I'm writing a uh, seven page. I've written up a seven page dissertation outlining just a very minute speck of dust compared to the mountain of corruption within the American system, and this bit. From this guy making a video is just uh, an all if null of what I've already done. <laughs> I started on what I was doing yesterday or the day before. Can't remember accurately, but five hours ago, <laughs> this video from this guy talking about Trump. He's stirring the pot kicking the hornet's nest just like I am I'm not gonna jerk you around and say oh it's different no he and I are doing the exact same damn thing we're stirring the fucking pot we're kicking the goddamn hornet's nest because we're sick of the bullshit and we want things to change we want the bullshit to stop And I find it fucking hilarious that it takes people like me and this guy acting like the same children that everyone else is acting like to get a point across of how stupid everyone else is acting. But to summarize it, it's all a bunch of political bullshit. Well, until next time, fuck right off.